Hello everybody, it's me, Granddaddy Love Cars. You see what I'm with? A Challenger Hellcat. This is not a 707 horsepower car. This is a 19 plus 717 horsepower Challenger Hellcat. Hellcat. No, it's not a wide body, but it is a Hellcat. And I'm here to give y'all, hopefully it's something y'all like to see. I ain't got my walking stick, but I'm gonna let y'all know this is gonna be the top five pros and cons of a Challenger Hellcat. So many things will be the same on other Hellcats. Of course, this non-wide body version, version, but let's get right to it. Now, first thing here, the first pro of this car is the fact that it is a Hellcat. Like I just said, 717 horsepower. The, the badge alone it get, the badge alone, the motor exhaust, the whole vehicle just gives you, damn, that's a Hellcat. Don't nobody, just, you see a hundred thousand scat packs. You see a lot of Hellcats too. You see scat packs. You see Miro, Mustang, but this is a Hellcat. I'm going to go and say damn near the king of the road. The car that changed all of our lives, all our car guys, car women lives, that started the new age car wars, it, it, this car, you can thank this car for everything. You can thank this car for, for of course, all the hell cats that came after. You can thank this car, really, for the Mustang GT500. You can thank this car for all those, you know, the TRX and Durango Hellcat. You can damn near thank the ZR1 for this car, new C8, everything, because this started the horsepower award. This bad, that motor. Now, that's my first pro, but right off jump, I'm not gonna waste y'all time. The first con of these vehicles is right here. Now, why is a damn tire and a wheel the first issue of a car? Now, let me tell y'all something. My C6 Corvette came factory with 285 tires. It now got 305s, I upgraded it. A damn Camaro, 5th gen Camaro SS with 430 horsepower come with the same size tires, 275, 40, 20. The exact same. The exact, exact, a 2000, a 2013, 14 Camaro SS with 430 horsepower got 475 tires on, 275 tires on it, which feels great. This has three, I'm mean, uh, 717 horsepower. Now, I like it's not staggered. You get 275s on the front and the rear. I like that. However, this is nowhere near big enough to do nothing. You can't, you can't even, I can go from here to that damn pole right there without that damn going like this. Because 275 ain't a damn thing for 707. Horsepower, I mean 717 horsepower. And, 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 and a lot of people, and I don't know, but a lot of people say these tires, these specific tires, these Pirellis, but these P0, they say it ain't worth a damn. Now, I can only tell you, I don't know. So much power, what is worth a damn? I, I, I just can't tell you. Now, the second pro of this vehicle. Makes this a Hellcat and not a little punk ass scat pack like over there. This is a Hellcat. You all know what that is? That says, I ain't, that don't mean nothing. This stands for, I am American. Because that's a big old giant, 6.2 liter, supercharged V8 iron block. That means it's strong, it's a cold air intake. It's, it's, let me tell y'all something. I don't know what. If y'all might not know, if me, let me ask your granddad and put y'all some facts up on y'all. SRT is a division of Dodge. I know Dodge is owned by Stellantis now. However, we ain't gonna go into that. SRT is a division of Dodge, and technically Chrysler and all them company. You know the the the, 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 the sister company. We ain't gonna call it. But it's SRT stand for Street Racing and Technology, which designs all the Dodge Neon, SRT4, the old 
Chrysler 300 SRTH, the Jeep SRTH, the now the Hellcats, the Scat Packs, the new Chrysler 300 C that came out with a Scat Pack motor. All that stuff is designed by special division called Street Racing and Technology. And why this is the number two pro of this vehicle is because they built this damn motor. Now I will tell y'all another thing y'all may not know, Dodge does not make these superchargers. Superchargers for all Hellcats are built and designed by a company called IHI. They make these superchargers and Dodge build the engine, they bring in the supercharger, bam, 6.2 liter supercharged V8. And, 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 and like I said before, it, it, it's, it's, it, this motor is, I just can't describe it. The motor is phenomenal. Push rod technology, everybody said that old school, but this old school is winning. It, 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 it's 700 horsepower. That's all I can say. That's all I can say. Um, we're going to go straight to this here second car, which I'm going to just take this with a grain of salt. This car's so beautiful and nice, it's hard to make cars of this damn thing. But I'm, I'm going to show y'all one thing that I just personally don't like myself, but it's just something that manufacturers do now, and I'm going to tell y'all why. The second con of this car is, 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 is these brake rotors. Now, now, don't get me wrong. These are huge brake rotors. You can see everything in these brake I mean, you, you can see how large they are. You can see the six pistons in the front, four pistons in the rear, the calipers. But I like drilled and slotted rotors. Uh, the reason why they put mostly full steel rotors here is because when you put those drills and slots inside of a rotor, it actually decreases the surface area because it's literally holes in it. So if you have a larger solid steel rotor, that's literally more space to bite down and clamp on, which I understand the technology. Just for me personally, I just like drilled and slotted so it can breathe cool and strip some of that brake pad surface clean, even though it's got a few slots to strip that pad surface clean. But still, why is the 6 got drilled and slotted rotors? It's the numerous other cars. If you want to talk about numbers comparison, brake size comparison, Corvettes, Z06, ZR1s coming with drill and sliders, and of course, all type of foreign BMWs and M Series car, AMG, they all drill the sliders. So I just want to know if they're really they giving you the, 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 the knowledge and the science behind the cut cost. Is, is, is it just to cut costs? Because we can have a nice drill and slider rotor on there. Now, with that, that being said, granted, they still some real nice brake pads that stop real good, which is gonna bring me to my actual third pro of this car. These brake rotors, I know I just talk junk about them, but these brake rotors right here, they bite, they bite hard, they stop. The only other car I've driven with brake pads that bite this hard was a scat pack. Which has, it was similar to the same brake system. Honestly, I can't remember if it was the four piston or the six like this one, but that's the only other car that bit. Brakes bit this hard. The Dodge. This is a Hellcat. Six piston rotors in the front, four in the rear. It bite you down real hard. Now, with that being said, I'm going to go to the, 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 third, the third con of this car. Now, granted, this is a Hellcat, but. I'm gonna tell y'all the, the 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 third kind of this vehicle is the fact that it is just a Hellcat. It's just a Challenger. If you had a Charger version, it's just a Charger. The the now let me put it like this. Let's just say this car eighty five thousand dollars equivalent eighty five k cars are much nicer than I ain't saying it's trash. It's terrible, but this headliner cheap 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 little nasty cough. The gauge, I mean, I like digital instrument panels myself, but some people don't like that. I, 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 I just don't. I, the interior is just just a little soft to the touch, a little bit. This, all this, just junk. It's just the seats are very nice, and the back seat. Stuff. See, 
very nice. Granted, it's not no Mercedes. It's not no AMG. It's, it's, it's still a Dodge Hellcat. It's just a Challenger. It's just a Charger. Whichever one you get, you can make something nicer. They got carbon and suede headliner trim package, but it's 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 just a it's just a charger, it's just a challenger, it's just a dodge. It's, it's nothing more really to it. The performance is what make it, not the inside. Now, the fourth pro. Once again, I'm back to the motor. And really, it, 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 the motor and the exhaust combined. That's what I want you to hear. just 700 17 horsepower for no reason now now I, all i'm saying is this car is fast now y'all folk supercharger wine i know y'all 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 folks on the internet here cats a damn bold they slow y'all shut the fuck up driving them fucking 200 horsepower loud ass honda fucking civic to the course with your fucking 1931 fucking bullshit. We don't want to hear that shit. Hellcat's fast as hell. And I've been driving this car straight in damn auto mode. Almost the whole time. But I'm going to put it in sport mode. Uh, these tires ain't worth a damn. We sliding. You see that? You see how fast that car is? It don't grip. It don't grip at all. 
It don't grip at all. But what I tell you for speed, if you can find somewhere where you can make, you gotta ride it on the damn track. You you have to go on the track to really put it down. Or a highway. But when I tell you, this car is so fast, it's like the scariest shit in the damn world. Because honestly, if you can't drive worth a damn, you ain't gonna, boy. It go, it go, it just go and it go and it go. That good soup. Woo, baby! Now, granted, it don't hook, it don't drive like a damn C8 Z06. It don't drive like no damn Alpina Bingman, no damn uh, 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 AMG GT. But I tell you what. Woo, baby! Woo the fun fact is nuts! Woo, baby! I know y'all tired of granddaddy talking. But I'm gonna just give y'all this one last con of this vehicle and it's right this to thing him. 90 half a tank. Now when I got this car, I had about 190 something miles to empty on the full damn tank. It don't take premium. We had half a mile, a half a tank, and we can only go 90 miles. What the hell is that? That's the worst gas mileage I ever seen any car ever driven. As crazy as hell. I, 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 I. Woo! The power there, but granted, your gas mileage ain't worth a damn. So if you can't afford this, you can't goddamn been working somewhere, and you, your 401k ain't hit yet, don't even think about owning this car because you ain't never gonna be able to fill it up. You ain't never gonna be able to go nowhere unless your pockets is right. So that me. Granddaddy, I just want to say thank y'all for watching. I know I've been driving your car crazy, but don't do what I do. Make sure you live right and just put God first. Say your prayer. Don't drink and drive. Don't text and drive. And thanks for watching.